What a beautiful day. Good morning, guys. My hair, perfect. It's a perfect way to start the day. Well, even though I'm using a teacup for coffee, but it's good. Beautiful sky. Oh my goodness, look at this. Yes, this is my breakfast for today. Wow. Yeah, I could expect something it's good, but I didn't expect something that good. <laughs> So, anyway, let's eat! Itadakimasu! Well, actually, I don't know where to start. Uh, let's start from here. So, I think this one is a tofu. Uh, let me see, I think I can figure it out after eat. Oh, mecha oishi. So, the taste is closer to chawanmushi, but more like the soybean flavor. Hmm, interesting. It's not the sweet, it's not the salty. Like really mild taste. You know, Japanese food. But the dashi flavor, perfectly matched. Hmm. Okay, so let me eat rice. And the miso soup. Ta da! Ah, oh, smells so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's inside? Oh, I think it's a clam. <laughs> well, I think there is a clam. Mm. Ah. Psycho. You know, if you are eating really good rice with miso soup, even only the rice and miso soup, you can be full. And in this case, good enough too. However, I don't want to waste it, so I will eat those too. <laughs> Never mind, alright. So let me eat this. Actually, the original menu was fish, but uh, I have an allergy on white fish, so they are changing for me to this. Mmm, meat is really soft and the taste is sukiyaki based. Mmm, yaba. And I guess this is yuba. Oh, mechoju. Yuba is a tofu skin. The sukiyaki sauce really sink into it. Well, maybe this is the first time that the yuba tastes better than meat. Huh, really interesting experience. Loving it. Mmm. And here, those are the side dishes. By the way, let me give you guys a Japanese lesson here. Side dishes in Japanese, we call okazu, okazu. Usually, okazu, eat with rice. So I guess this is a small fish. Hmm, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, I believe it's healthy, but you know, not so much taste. Let me go to next. So next one is tofu. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to take it. I thought I forgot to use soy sauce. Tofu with soy sauce, better. Where is it? And I guess the next one is radish? Not sure. Oh, it's so uh, It's still the radish. Tastes like a oden. The taste is really so green to it, so I love it. And what is this? Interesting. I think this is a gobo burdock. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's delicious. 
So they are gobo burdock and beef tender. Really nice sweet soy sauce flavor. Hmm. Love it. And here, three things are inside. Oh! So this one is a spicy roll. Inside is raw, outside is burned. Must be good. Oh. Yeah, it is a bit spicy, but at the same time, it's sweet. And also, I think this one is a kombu, which is a seaweed. Really nice dashi flavor. Plus, I think this is a fish cake. It's good. <laughs> and here, another Japanese lesson. So basically, pickled veggie called tsukemono. Tsukemono. Pickled veggies. This is a cucumber. Pickled veggie always good with rice. And the next, it's tamagoe. Yeah, tamagoyaki, soft and sweet. Always good. Oh, by the way, this breakfast is I'm eating in the hotel room, but actually, this one is from the really nice Japanese restaurant. And I guess that's a fish cake. Hmm, well, the fish cake, it's good. You know, Japanese food is like eating buffet. There are so many small dishes, you can enjoy it, and yeah, you can be full. <laughs> and we have a dessert, it's orange. Oh, really sweet. And they also gave me the newspaper, which is the Geshin Boon, which I chose. Well, I used to be a finance industry and then I used to read this newspaper every day to learn, you know, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the economics, but after being a YouTuber, not really. <laughs> well, feels like I'm living in the movie. I'm not that kind of person though. <laughs> Never mind. All right, I'm ready to go. Hope I can come back here again one day. I will miss this place. Anyway, let's keep walking. Let's go. Ooh, what a beautiful day. Again, it's a weekday, but so many people on the street, though. So anyway, today we are heading to Keage Incline, which is one of the best sakura spots in Kyoto. I haven't been there yet, so I'm excited to see that. Oh my goodness, it's really hot. It's 23 degrees right now, feels like the summer has came. Anyway, from here to Keage Incline, it takes about 30 minutes by bus and walking, so it's not that far. Should be. And this is the picture spot, Yasaka no To. During the daytime, it's really beautiful as well. During the sunset time, it's really beautiful too. Well, I filmed the time lapse from there, and also I showed the most expensive hotel in Kyoto Park Hyatt suite room. It was really nice. If you haven't, please don't forget to check this video as well. Alright, so. I think the bus stop is almost there, so let's keep walking. Oh, so I think we can take a bus from there. By the way, look at the family mart. As you can see, that's not really a baby green color, much darker. Because of the Kyoto city rule, they pick the darker color which can fit with the town. Oh, this shrine looks beautiful with sakura too. But uh, Keage Incline, more beautiful. Please look forward to it. Oh wait, look at this 7-Eleven. This one has color. Well, this place has vivid color and that place over there, no color. So maybe uh, there's a line over there. Well, maybe they have some complicated rules. You know, I have no idea. Oh wait, the bus has come. So this is the bus I have to take. Let's do it. Oh, 
That's the place we have to take off, so let's go there. So it was about 10 minutes ride by bus and from here we will walk another 10 minutes. Probably people are going there, so we will not get lost. Hopefully. Anyway, let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, look at the park. Playing tennis next to Sakura. It must feel pretty good. So that's Okazaki Koen. There is a zoo inside, but today we are going to Keage Incline watching Sakura, so this way. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Wow. Loving it. As you see, all of them are Sakura flowers. Almost Sakura season is gone. Sakura season, really short. Well, I just realized that the Kyoto Sakura is earlier than Osaka Sakura. Well, so hopefully, Sakura is still there at the Keage Incline though. Hopefully. Anyway, let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at that boat. Nice. So many people are on the boat though. Uh, what is this? Something... something artistic. Yeah, something artistic. Interesting. Anyway, let's keep walking. Oh, that's nice view with fountain. Oh, wait, I just realized that's the entrance of Keage in crying. So I think we have to go back, by the way, with strong wind. Really beautiful. Wow. Oh, just came back to something artistic here because of this art. I totally miss the entrance over there. But here we go. This is the entrance. So there is an old train railway and oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. As you see, there are so many people wearing kimono. Yes, this is the photo spot. Well, compared to other spots, this spot is relatively close to Kyoto Station and it's really beautiful. So, definitely, next time when you visit Kyoto in Sakura season, you can come visit here. It's Keage Incline. Wow, really nice. Oh, seems like this area has more Sakura. So, there are more people here, this area. Wow. I was wondering how it was like during the spring break. Must be so many people. Maybe full bloom season. It's really beautiful for photo, but uh, I'm filming it. And uh, this season, it's maybe better. Because we can see so many sakura flowers is flying around. Really beautiful. And now, I can feel that the season is changing. So many flowers on the ground. Well, probably when you see this video, all sacklers are gone already but I could take a beautiful photo for the Instagram and also recently I make a live update for the Instagram story so if you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well So now we are going back to the bus stop where we were and heading to the Nishiki market one of the most famous and historical market in Japan Hopefully, we can find some good dessert or food because I'm already hungry, so <laughs> let's keep walking. Let's go. And here we go. We come back to the bus stop. So basically, I just used the Google map to find out the way to go. It's really convenient. They will show us, you know, the bus stop name and then the bus time as well. So really useful. So if you want to find out the way to go in Japan, you can just use the Google map. All right, here we go. This is the bus. Wow, look at that. That's a huge Norwegian. Hi, Aizamo. So now we arrived to Shijo Kawaramachi. It took about 20 minutes by bus. The Nishiki market is almost here, so let's go. Wow, this street, so many people. I'm wondering how crowded the Nishiki market is. Let's keep walking. Yep, after turn right this corner, 
This arcade starts. Wow. So many people. Well, the breakfast I ate was 10 a.m. and then right now it's 3 p.m. So <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's find something to eat. Let's go. Oh, look at that. It's a Mameshiba cafe. You can play with Mameshiba dog. Looks so cute. I've never been there. Hopefully one day I can visit there. But not today though. Let's keep walking. Oh, look at this place. Seems like they have a happy hour now. And also, oh, hot wine. I've never tried that. There are tables in front of the restaurant. So yeah, I can easy to film it. Why not? Let's do it. Seems like they have a student discount too. But unfortunately, I'm not a student. Yeah, by the way, students in Japanese called gakusei, gakusei. So, is this the food vulture? Oh wait, that's a money exchanger. So this is not. So I guess we can order here? I believe so. Alright, so here we go. We got the hot wine. It's my first time to try that. I tried to drink the hot wine in Yokohama and the Christmas market, but I couldn't, so first time. Usually I can fight with beer, but this time hot wine. Can fight. Oh the well, I thought that when make it hot, it become less alcohol. But actually, I can smell the alcohol, and also it's really fruity. Nice. Oh, very interesting, and I love that. If you love alcohol and then the fruit drink, probably you will like it too. And here we go. <laughs> That's gyoza. So this one is the mentaiko, which is a spicy cut roll, and then this one is shiso. And then you know what's interesting about this restaurant is that usually gyoza is a Chinese food, so we don't usually drink with wine. But uh, <laughs> gyoza with wine, interesting. Trying something new, it's always good. All right, so let's eat. Let me start with this spicy cut roll wine. Itadakimasu. Oh. Well, actually, that's really interesting. Well, the gyoza is really nice. And then the spicy co- Oh, with gyoza? Nicely matches. Well, whenever I eat gyoza, always with beer. I never told it. Gyoza can fit with the hot wine. Love it. Oh, sweet. Well, if you haven't, maybe you can try it one day. And then how about this one? Let me try it. Is it the ketchup or spicy sauce? Itadakimasu. Hmm? <laughs> Oishii. Well, but still, I'm not sure what kind of sauce it is. Let me ask. So, I just asked them. Actually, this red sauce is a plum. Hmm. Makes sense. <laughs> So it's not the spicy sauce, it's not the ketchup, it's a plum sauce. Well, as you guys know, I'm a super indecisive person. Whenever I went to the arcade, well, I can't decide where to eat, but this time it was really quick. You know why? Because I was super hungry. <laughs> Anyway, you know, still, I think Nishiki Market hasn't started yet, and then there are so many foods there too, so let's eat more and more. So let's keep walking. Let's go. Alright, sweet. So let's go to the next spot. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this avocado bacon chicken fillet burger. Looks so good, but uh, I don't think. We should eat the first kitchen in Kyoto. Since we are in Kyoto, let's find something like Kyoto. So that's the temple in the market. That means and behind. Yes. That's Nishiki Market over there. Yep. You see that Chinese character. That called Nishiki. So 
Nishiki Market starts from here. Well, let's keep walking. Last time when I visit here, most of the stores were closed. Hopefully, it's not closed. Well, but I believe, as you see, so many people are coming back to the street. So I don't think it's closed though. Let me see. Oh my goodness, look at those fruit sandwiches. Looks pretty good. Nice. Oh, they sell this sweet potato and also the rice sweet potato. And now I got the sample. Let me try that. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Actually, it's pretty good. Dried sweet potato is popular in Japan. Love it. Alright, why not? Uh, I always wanted to try this fruit sandwich, especially this mixed one. They use the amao. So let's do it. Yep. So we can eat it inside and then look at the store. Really cute. <laughs> Nice! So, this is the fruit sandwich. The price is 590 Japanese yen. Actually, if you eat inside 10 Japanese yen more, but uh, yeah, you can have a seed. So, it's good, right? Anyway, let's eat. Look at that. Actually, it's huge. Those fruits are really big. Inside there is a pineapple, tangerine orange, strawberry, and kiwi fruits. And this strawberry has a brand called Amao, meaning sweet king. <laughs> yeah, that means it must be sweet. Let me try that. Itadakimasu. Oh shit. Well, this is like eating cake, but with this sandwich. Hey, I'm wondering, this fruit sandwich is popular in Japan, but is it Japan thing? Or can you find it in other countries as well? Well, if you know that, please let me know in the comment down below. Mmm, strawberry. It's nice sweetness as well. Loving it. That was pretty good. So let's find the next food. So let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, look at that. This is interesting. They sell the onion. Wow, I'm wondering how different it is. Tastes different? Interesting. Well, yeah, maybe we can try that next time. <laughs> because I don't think we can try it today. So let's keep walking. As you see, so many people here. People are coming back to the town. I'm super happy to see that. Loving it. Oh my goodness, look at them. Those are the wagashi and the kompeito. Looks beautiful. Really traditional Japanese snack. Look at this kompeito. Really cute. So kompeito made by sugar. It's basically just sweet, but uh, because of the shape, many people love it. Oh my goodness, look at this fondue dango. Looks so good. Eh? Yeah, but I want to try more street food. I just ate the sweet, so maybe this one next time. <laughs> look at this. They have an animal cookie. So cute. The price is 200 Japanese yen. And it seems like now we are at the fish area. There are many different kinds of fish. And those are the nimono, the stewed one. Here, they sell many different kinds of sake. Really traditional style. Oh, look at that! That's Japanese sandal. Actually, this one is the same material with tatami. Nice, the price is 1,200 Japanese yen. Oh, this place smells really good. So actually, those are the tsukemono, which is the pickled veggie. All of them perfect with white rice. Oh, look at this. It's interesting. It's koi carp. 
I've never seen the fish store sells koi fish to eat. Wow, that's interesting. Price is 1,300 Japanese yen.、Yeah. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> I don't think I want to eat the koi fish. Oh my goodness, look at that! Really cute. So, I guess they sell the cat stuff and the awesome painting. Let me see what they sell. Yeah, I'm 100% sure they sell the bacon cat as well. Nice. <laughs> uh, there, the fox one. Seems like the one from the Kimetsune Aiba. Oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> That's so cute! So, actually, this place is a Snoopy Jaya, meaning tea house of Snoopy. Wow, they have different kinds of Snoopy foods. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel so sorry to eat. <laughs> my goodness, look at that tea. Snoopy is in the tea. Oh, look at that! This is the one I ate at the Kromon Ichiban Market. So, this one called Tako Tamago. Actually, the toilet's inside. <laughs> well, it looks a little bit weird, but it tastes really good. If you haven't, you can try that. Oh, wait! There is a squid fish one as well. I've never tried that. Maybe I can try it. I wanted to try that, but that's. You know, in front of the store, and then that's the stuff only they have. So maybe the next time we can try that. You know, after pandemic over. Yeah, I think so. Oh, seems like this is the dango store, and then look at that. <laughs> they have a chocolate dango. Interesting. I've never tried it. Three hundred Japanese yen for a stick. Hi, <laughs> Atos. You know what? Actually, they are the okaki store, which is a rice cracker, and then they have more okaki stuff.、Uh, I've never tried this shichimi one, which is a spicy one, and also the wasabi joyu. It must be good.、Eh? Why not? Forget about the dango, and then let's try the okaki. <laughs> Alright, sweet. <laughs> let's eat. So, this is the first one. With shichimi pepper. Well, if you love eating udon, maybe you have tried shichimi pepper. Actually, there are so many flavors. Hmm, sometimes it's spicy, sometimes it's not. Seems like there are many shichimi peppers, so hopefully it's not that spicy. But let me try. Itadakimasu. Oh, delicious. So, nure okaki. The usually rice cracker is hard. However, this one is really soft. Really nice sweet soy sauce flavor. Perfectly matches with shichimi pepper. Loving it. Hmm. <laughs> well, first bite it was okay, but after the fourth bite, yeah, now I feel a little bit spicy. So the next one is soy sauce with wasabi. Well, wasabi always good with soy sauce, and I always loving it. So probably, yeah. Before eating this, I can tell it's mecha oishi. But let me try that. Here, take this. Oh, yeah. As I expected, mecha oishi. <laughs> well, wasabi is not that strong. So even you can eat wasabi, probably you can try that. And、uh, if you love eating sushi with wasabi, yeah, hundred percent sure you will love it. Hmm, <laughs> really nice soy sauce wasabi flavor. Loving it. They have so many different kinds of rice crackers. If you love rice cracker, this is a place. All right, sweet. And Nishiki Market ends here. Let's go back to the Kyoto Station. Let's go. And now we came back to JR Kyoto Station. Oh yeah, yesterday we were here, and today it's as well.、Uh, why not? Let's go up to the top. Let's go. Yep. We still have more stairs. 
By the way, these stairs, beautiful. Let's keep walking. And here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, well, it's kind of scary, but uh, <laughs> looks pretty good. Oh, this place really quiet and a nice view. Well, anyway, in this Kyoto trip, I could experience so many nice stuff. I'm really happy with it. Well, for the next trip, I'm planning to visit Kyushu area and try to use the ferry to going back to Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, it must be fun too. So please look forward to it. If you haven't, don't be shy. Subscribe and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Big thank you to all of the Patreons because of you guys' support. I can keep traveling. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. And also, thank you so much for letting me stay in Park Hyatt. <laughs> it was a priceless experience. Arigato! Alright, so hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan. So see you in the next video. Seno, go! <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.